Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another Certs video. Uh, today we're going to talk about division in Certs. So the first thing I want to do before we start Certs is to remind you guys of the index law that says when you have two terms, uh, term, the first term A divided by the second term B, and this whole fraction raised to the power of n, then this equals a to the power of n over b to the power of n. So you can try this with numbers if you like and see if it works. Uh, but basically that's the index law that uh, hopefully you guys would have learned already. So applying that with thirds, we have the square roots of a over b is the same thing as square root of a over square root of b. So it's the same uh, thing as the index law. Okay, so applying this rule to solve a problem. Let's say we have uh, simplify the square root of 33 over the square root of 3. So what you can do is what you can do is you can put it underneath one big square root symbol and we have 33 over 3 inside the square root. So then we can do that within the square root sign 33 divided by 3 is 11 and that is our answer. Okay, so I'll give you guys another one to try. Simplify uh, 50 over 10. Okay, have a go at this and come back when you're done. Okay, so the answer is square root of 50 divided by 10 and the answer is just 50 divided by 10 is 5 so that is the answer pretty simple okay so now let's do one where we have to simplify the third first uh, so what if you had something like 3 times the square root of 42 over 2 times square root of 6. Okay, now, how do we do this? Well, uh, if you are familiar with fractions, you should remember that uh, when you're multiplying fractions, for example, A over B times C over D is equal to AC over BD. Right, that's just... Uh, simple formula for multiplying fractions. You just multiply the top by the top, put it at the top, or numerator by the numerator, and put the answer in the numerator. And then the denominator times the denominator and put the answer in the denominator. So here we're going to do the reverse of that. We're going to separate it. So now we have 3 over 2 times square root of 42 over square root of 6 and now what we can do is we can uh, do the square root part by combining these two square roots into the square root of 42 over 6 inside the square root sign so it's 3 over 2 times the square root of 42 divided by 6 is 7 and that is the final answer so uh, I was wrong, you didn't have to uh, simplify the thirds first, okay? So you actually break up the fractions first and then you simplify. Okay, so let's try another one. Have a go at this and come back when you're done. Okay, so I have 7 times the square root of 48, so I have uh, I'm going to split it up into 7 over 3 times the square root of 48 over the square root of 8. 
So then 7 over 3 stays where it is and the square root of 48 over 8 I'm gonna put it inside one whole third so then it's 7 over 3 times what is 48 divided by 8 the answer is uh, 6 and uh, that is the final answer because 6 cannot be simplified any further Okay, so let's try one involving some variables, which is probably a little bit more complicated. Feel free to have a go at it before I go through it if you like. Uh, so, okay, the first thing I'm going to do is, I guess, combine everything into one big third. So I have 72x cubed y4 over 4x squared y. So then I can just use the index law to simplify the inside fraction. So I'm going to ignore that the square root sign exists for a second. I'm just going to do the inside first. So then I have 72 divided by 4, which is uh, 18. And then uh, I have x cubed over x squared, which is just x, y4 over y, which is y to the power of 3. Okay, and then I can think to myself, is there a number that goes into 18 that's a square number? And the answer is yes, it's 9 times 2. So I'm going to separate it out, and then I have x, and I have y squared, and y. Okay, so then I can take out the square root of 9 and I'm going to take out the uh, square root of y squared and I'm going to keep everything else inside the square root sign so it's 2xy. Okay, so the square root of 9 is 3, the square root of y squared is y and the rest of it is inside the square root sign. So that is the answer of that one. Okay, I'll give you a more complicated one to do. Have a go at this one and come back when you're done. Okay, so, uh, oops, I've pretty much done the first step for you already. So originally the problem should have been uh, two square roots separated. Okay, so it's square root of that divided by the square root of that okay which gives you one big square root of 27 x4 x to the power of 4 y to the power of 5 over 18 x to the power of 7 y to the power of 3 and then I just use the index law to simplify the inside so I have 9 times 3 is 27 9 times 2 is 18 x to the power of 4 over x to the power of 7 so I'm gonna cross out the smaller one and get the bigger power minus the smaller power 7 minus 4 which is x to the power of 3 on the bottom so that's x to the power of 3 on the bottom and then y to the power of 5 over y to the power of 3 so I cross out the smaller one and I get the bigger number minus the smaller number so 5 minus 3 is 2 so it's y to the power of 2 on the top and then I uh, can't see any way of simplifying that any further so I'm going to get rid of the uh, the whole square root and change it into two square roots so I have 3y squared over uh, 2x cubed square root and then I'm gonna take the 3 and the y squared separated and I'm going to separate the 2 and the x cubed into x squared and x. Alright, so now I have 
uh, square root of y squared is changed into y, right? Because two divided by two is one, so it's y times uh, square root of three over, and I have square root of x squared is just x, so it's x times the square root of two x. Okay, and uh, put the plus or negative sign at the top. Okay, so that is my final answer. All right, a complicated problem to simplify. Okay, so hopefully you guys understood everything I have done so far. Now, just to finish off, I'm going to give you one that combines multiplication and division. So this one looks pretty complicated. I'm gonna let you guys decide how to do that. There are a few ways of doing something like that. And uh, come back when you're done. Okay, so I guess there's a lot of ways of doing that. And my way of doing this is, uh, I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put this first one underneath one big square root. So I have 12 over 8, uh, sorry, 12 x, x to the power of 7 x over x to the power of 2, y to the power of 3 over y to the power of 4. And I'm just going to do the first section first. So then this becomes. Uh, so 12 over 8 is the same as 3 over 2. So 3 over 2. x to the power of 7 over x to the power of 2 is x to the power of 5 on the top. y3 over y4, that's y on the bottom. Times uh, 4 over 2. So that's 4 over 2 times. And then I have x to the power of 5, so that's x to the power of 4 times x over uh, I have uh, y on the bottom okay because y squared square root is just y and then I can change this here to x to the power of 2 Right, because 4 divided by 2 is just 2. So then uh, I'm going to again separate this square root of a fraction into two square roots. So I have square root of 3x to the power of 5 over the square root of 2y times 4 over 2 times. Uh, x squared times square root of x over y. So putting all that together, I have 4x squared uh, times the square root of 3x to the power of 6. Right, because I have square root of 3x five, 3x to the power of 5 times by the square root of x, so x times x to the power of 5 is x to the power of 6. And then on the bottom I have 2y times the square root of 2y. Okay, I guess the only thing left to simplify is the x to the power of 6 can be rewritten as, um, so I'm gonna separate the x to the power of Sorry, uh, x to the power of 6 square root is just x to the power of 3. So that's x to the power of 3 times square root of 3 over 2y times the square root of 2y. So the answer, the final answer is 4x to the power of 5 times square root of 3 over 2y times square root of 2y. And you can put a uh, plus or minus on the top of the fraction, indicating that the answer could either be positive or negative. Okay, uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you again next time.